I'm recovered from um, heroin and cocaine. This is um, Bayside Christian Mission. I arrived here July the 20, 21st, mm -hmm. and I started working like July the 24th, and I've been here ever since. Can you yeah. tell me about it? Yes. Um, this place, Bayside Christian Mission, is, is really helping me. You know, and I see that they help a whole lot of people. You meet all sorts of people from all sorts of areas, and I never thought that I would connect with people the way I have, and people that I never even seen or have ever even met. You know, it's just a bond. You know, in recovery, it's, it's love, it's real love. At 18, I started selling drugs, you know, because I wanted to fit in, and I wanted to get what I see other guys have, you know, riding in cars and dressing nice. Maybe a year after I started selling drugs, I got locked up, you know, and I was kind of scared. Being 18 and hearing about going to jail, you know, I was real scared. Before I got locked up, I had my first kid, you know, and uh, it was like, well, I'm locked up, I won't be able to see my kid. I got out and hung back around the same people, did the same thing that I was doing before I got locked up, and the results the same. I never thought that I was going to keep going back to jail, and I kept going back to jail because I kept doing the same thing. How has Wayside changed your life so far? Oh, man, Wayside changed my life tremendously. This place changed their life, man. And a whole lot of them, like, if, if they could do it, I could do it. It took me uh, maybe two, about a year to decide come up here, you know, because I, I just got tired of doing the same thing, getting the same results, and, you know, hurting, hurting a whole lot of people. I never knew that that drug had me just real sick. Wayside, they really helped me out, because I don't think that a place like this never should, should be down there, because they help so many people, you know, so I don't think nobody can say nothing bad about Wayside. After going through all of this and having this amazing story, where do you go from here? What's next for you? Well, for me, is is trying to get myself completely, you know, surrounded with good people, you know, and trying to help somebody that need help. You know, it's always about trying to help. You know, so I got to try to stay clean and sober and help the next alcoholic stay clean and sober.